Oh yeah, I forgot to... Yeah, I skipped this cutscene, stupid me. Right, but it looks like it worked. Now then, quick, let's get a skirt on. Oh, crud. We got this as a... One of the lords. We should probably check that this is the better skirt. Yep. Okay, this does seem possible though. My one... Oh! Nope. That was a hit. Moral of the story, don't get greedy. Don't heal right under them. doing, but hey. Oh, got that hit on me again. He doesn't hit me often, but when he does, it hurts. Okay, we're running out of room over here. Let's take it back a bit, see. How's that sound? Oh, fine. Take it. Smack at the tail and miss. Okay, see. Come on, hit me. You know, the amount of damage the bank shield does now is just comical. What I'm going to try and do is see if I can get you to do your tail thing. Because that is definitely by far the easiest one to dodge and get in attacks when I'm at the front of you. Awkward if I'm going for the tail. Good thing I'm not going for the tail. Oh! No, 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 no! No! Ah, oh, damn. He caught me there. I thought he was going... thought he was going for a, uh straight one, but nope. You got me. Well played, Thief. 
Well played. But this time I shall have you. For I shall not rest until I have completed this game and uh, with this plank shield. Even if I am going to uh, use weapons like a uh, uh, Black Knight sword. Gwyn is going to be interesting though because I'm going to die without die without being able to parry and deal minimal damage when I am using a plank shield in my main hand. Depends on how quickly I can switch between parry weapon and unless I then again I could go to because I really want to, to use the Black Knight shield in my off hand for the for Gwyn. Since it's got high fire resistance, 100% physical resistance, and it can parry. The one downside is then obviously I don't have anything to deal out damage, so. Now let's see if I can get this right this time. It did it the first few times when I was, wasn't trying to, but ever since I've tried, it's sort of flopped. And essentially, he jumps to his death. So yeah, he'd, he'd leap from about there and... Oh, no. Yeah. Leap from about there and end up falling off the edge because of invisible paths and stuff. Okay, round two. Do I have the slumbering dragon crest ring? Nope. The slumbering dragon crest ring, in short, is my, uh... Yeah. Oh, no. No. Screwed up. Screwed up. They don't seem happy. Neither does he. Yes, now, as you can see, that crystal over there, there's a reason you've got to hit that, and I cannot see a thing. As you can see, I hit him, started to damage, but his health bar stayed exactly where it is. Now, I could destroy this myself, but it's more fun watching him do it. So, uh... stand here for a bit. See if move into position. And he stopped. Rather than attacking. There we go. Then once he destroys that I miss. But at least under my rules if I miss I can still swing again. See if that's one bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a lot of bars. Let's do that a few more times. Come on, see. Attack me. Okay, I can I can live through that. Managed to dodge the beam itself. Come on. Come on, Seath. Mm. 
Um, not liking my close proximity here. Okay, Seath. Give me everything you've got. Wait, yes, ah, forgot about that. Right, the mist is there. At least if I come from oh that side I have a chance to I have a better chance to dodge. And he also it's also seemed to I also seem to have been able to get him to use his tail attack from there on twice. This is too too close, see, too close. Eh, uh, the disadvantage is I can't miss twice with my shield and still call it fair. Uh, Okay. No. Ah. Too slow. And I got to see him another three times. The flank. Oh, don't hit me on there. So one more. Gotcha. Because I actually swung twice. Ah, uh, no. Let's... Where are all these crystals coming from? Okay. Right, I've still got to hit him twice with the shield. Okay, healing time. If we learned anything from last time, it's make sure you've got enough health that even after he's hit you, even if you don't die, you need to heal before the crystals kill you. Okay, there we go. I got the... I got the hit with the uh, shields before he got off his attack, so I can now go back to my usual swing, double hit, back off. crystals that are coming out of the wall. Right, so if I also recall that time I managed to get in another hit with the sword, but that means I could get two shield hits to the... One. Two. I'll go for the first this time. Ah, that still puts me in position for another sword hit. Oh. Okay, see.
Yep, as such. Retreat. I got the S to spare. I could have got out of there if I hadn't done the two shield hits, but hey. Now, I think it may be three more times or so, and this guy's gone at last. Okay, maybe six. No chance of me getting his tail, really. Yeesh. Uh. I wanted it when I was at the front seat, not when I was at the back. A lot of Seath's attacks, whilst not overly painful and very slow, if they do hit you, they're scary. Plus you just got that, you know, it's got the feel behind it, the maliciousness, the adrenaline rush because of just how the attacks work. There's all the crystals there, so you've got to actually move completely out of the way rather than just hit and run. Sorry, rather than just, you know, dodge and go back, straight back. Right. Last bit with a flank shield. See, I mean, just look at that explosion when he does that attack. Okay, last smidgen. The trick now is to lure you into attack, moving up close, getting the attack in. And... I think that's it. Yes, that is it. We defeated Seath. That's two down. Two to go.